Hello reformers, and welcome back to Blood and Steel. Now, as you can see, I have made my way to a nearby Swadian village. Well, you wouldn't know it was Swadian, but it is. And we are about to raid it. So hopefully we will gain a rather sizable amount of cash to upgrade our units, as well as a couple of, well, very nice items so that we can sell. So, let us charge the angry villagers. Oh my. We are doing a rather evil thing here, but we are really needing and requiring the funds that can be gained from this. Now, one of you stated in the comments that the cloth yard arrows are miles better, should we say, than the eastern arrows. Of course, they do give plus 15 damage, and we did know that, but of course, the 35 extra arrows may be worth it? I'm not sure. Maybe it was worth it for that trade-off, but from what I can tell at the moment, what I am doing is I will be keeping the cloth yard arrows, and I will have some eastern arrows in the secondary slot, so that we have a little, well, buffering, should we say, to fall back on in case I miss too many shots, which is highly likely at the moment. And I really am very bad at being on a horse and shooting things. This is evident, as you can see. Missing quite a few, which is rather unfortunate, but never mind. They are actually rushing at us with a rather large amount of units. Of course, I suppose that's what you would do if one of your villages was being raided. Uh, but there we are. Anyway, I believe that is probably going to be it. Anyone else? Show yourselves. No, I don't, I don't think so. Somehow. Maybe? Where would they be? I don't think so. Maybe up here? Can my horse get up here? Oh, there's actually someone behind me. What was that about? Okay, well, never mind. My Kurgit Spearman tracked them down successfully. Very nice. Okay, so there we are. 44 renown for that, which is actually rather impressive, I have to admit. Okay, so plunder the village. We are going to be plundering it. Let's just hope that no one comes over here to interrupt us. So, cross your fingers. Nothing is going bad at the moment, or wrong, should we say? Oh, 29 days to doom remaining now. Oh, no. Well, the only thing we can do, I suppose, is get ready for that. Now, oh, my goodness. Count Rias is not happy with us in the least. However, I am slightly uncaring at the moment, because, as you can see, we have a huge amount of loot here, and we sorely need it, really. I mean... Without this, we are somewhat stuck in the mud, as it were. So, yes, we really did require that. Oh, yes, I'm actually using two cloth yard arrows. So, as you can see, we have plus 15 and plus 15 damage. Rather nice, I must say. I still need a new sword, that is. So, we will be going for that too shortly. So, let us head back to Nara. I was able to actually find a ransom broker. He was located in Ikamur. And, thankfully, I was able to sell our prisoners for a rather sizable amount. I believe the sum came to around 1,100. And I'm actually wondering, should we go in here and help the Serenid Sultanate, who we are at war with? I don't believe they are going to be very pleased about that. So, yeah, I would like to actually just check. Yes, we are still at war with them. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Otherwise, I would have gone in and helped them against the Death Knight Hordes. Oh yes, but never mind. We do now, hopefully, have enough cash to sustain us. As you can see, we already have 5.3, so I don't think we really need to sell anything even. But we will be doing so, just because we have it. And I believe that will be enough. Mm. Now, here is my pickle. I really want to buy some hard tack. So I'm going to buy four lots of that, and hopefully... That will help us out to sustain our army for a while longer. As you saw, I did actually take some rather high morale foodstuffs from the previous raid, so I think we can most likely take a lot of it. So let's just take that. There we go. Okay, so that's good. And there we are. And now I think we will just be selling the rest. I will keep these eastern arrows because you never know. We might need it. We are riding a very nice horse after all. Maybe we should buy a new horse now. Maybe this war horse? It has a hundred armor, which would be incredible. The speed is the same! 
Oh my goodness, the speed is the same, we have to buy it. Oh my goodness, we so have to buy that. I mean, really? That is amazing. Okay, so, yes, I suppose this is what we actually get for raiding and pillaging and slaughtering innocent civilians. We get paid, <laughs> and we actually get a rather positive outcome from it as well, which is somewhat amusing in a very evil way, but yes, there we are. We are very lucky indeed. We now have 48,000 dinars, so I suppose what we could do is, well, buy some good armor, I suppose. I would really like some good body armor, that is for sure, so let's see if we actually have any here. It requires much larger strength values than I actually have at the moment, so I think we're not going to be able to wear that for quite some time. Now, I think a new addition to Blood and Steel, this new version, the 1.6 version, of course, is the fact that it says, this is masculine clothing. Female companions will not wear it unless you force them to. Aha! So there we are, I suppose. That will, of course, make them look more manly, but yes, I am not too bothered about that as such, unless it reduces their morale. It might reduce their relation with us as well. So we have to look out for that, just in case. Now, we don't actually have any prisoners, but I would like to level up all of our units, because they did actually level up from the previous episode's bout with those pack of evildoers. But yes, I was unable to, of course, afford to upgrade them all, so thankfully we're actually getting a rather sizable amount of good units now. So maybe we'll be able to actually do something even more extravagant this episode. That would be nice. Now, I think... Deshavi will eventually become a horse archer. I would like her to become a horse archer at least. So I would like her to get some more riding skill to begin with so that she can wear my horse. Well, not wear it, but use it. Ride it. And do all other manner of things with it. But yes, there we are. We will go to her equipment and give her this. There we go. Now she is a horse archer, technically. And she actually has a custom bow, which is great. So that's actually going to help her out quite a bit. She does have a quarter staff. It does 100 damage. 100 blunt damage, that is. Wow, that is amazing. I probably should have leveled up her polearm skill then instead of her one-handed. I was not aware that she had that. Okay. Well, at least now I do. Okay, well, Deshavi's looking good, and Jeremus doesn't actually have a horse yet either. Rolf doesn't either, so we'll probably have to do something about that. How is his riding skill? Three as well. Ah. Well, maybe it would have been good to give him that. He actually doesn't have very good gear at all in comparison to Tashavi's bow, of course. So we'll probably have to do something about that in just a moment. So let's get everyone up there. Let's get Rolf down there with the rest of our companions. And let's make Tashavi an archer, I suppose. Because she is technically an archer, so why not? And we'll make Jeremus... Hmm... I suppose he's eventually going to become infantry, so we'll just choose that for now. I don't really think that is too good, but oh well, that's fine. Because he is our surgeon after all. I don't really want him running into battle, but yes, until at least he gets a good amount of armor. That would be nice. And there is actually a Serenid Vassal right here, so we do have to be very cautious. Oh my, don't run in there. Oh my goodness. Be very careful, Victor. You never know when something may go wrong. Especially when I am at the helm, as it were. Okay, so I think what would actually be rather good of us to do right now is maybe head off to another village and see if we can raid that. But I think on the way it would be great if we could actually find... Oh my. We can actually get some mercenary defenders. Cavalry already. Oh my. Okay, well that's uh, very nice. But yes, as I was saying, I would really like to be able to maybe find another bandit party for us to level up our units on. And it would actually be really nice if we could actually... Oh, I was going to say recruit from some of our Kurgit villages, but unfortunately they are being raided left, right, and center. So not great, I must admit. There is a patrol from the Kurgits there. Okay, let's speed things up a little bit. Unfortunately, I am experiencing a few lag issues, as you might spot. We are receiving some frame drops, which is not exactly great. But, yeah, we'll just have to fight through it, as it were. Luckily, we don't actually experience those while we're in combat. So, let's just get away from these guys as best we can. And, oh, we can actually go down to Dasturil, yes. That would be a very nice indeed to hopefully... Oh my. Wow, these sea warriors are actually running after 
these looters. That is amazing. Okay, so let's recruit some... Oh, yes! Horse archers. This is exactly what I wanted. Okay, great. I am hopefully going to be building an excellent horse archer army eventually. But yes, we will need the units to be able to do that, of course. Uh, oh my, that was close. I thought we almost ran into a bandit party there. That was not going to be good. Okay, here we go. Yes, okay, good. So, more horse archers. Yes, okay, that is good. Great. Okay, so let us now, I suppose, what we could... Oh my goodness. As you can see, Death Knight Raiders are following this fellow here. And I don't blame him for running, that is for sure. As you can see, they have absolutely excellent units. Wow. Much more variety as well, I think, in this version. So it's going to be very, very cool once we get to fight them at some point. That will be rather amazing. So let us cut away, I think. And I will be heading to a few other villages. And in the meantime, I'm hopefully going to be finding some bandit parties for us to fight. So I will see you soon. Okay, so as you can see, we are currently being pursued by a large bandit horde. They actually have 52 prisoners as well, which would be amazing to actually rescue. And they have 21 elite rocketeers, which I am a little... Yeah, not too sure whether we can actually pull this off. But as you can see, I have restructured my army a little bit, mainly due to the fact that I was taken prisoner by one of these bandit hordes. I did try to recruit from as many villages as possible. As you can see, we do have a rather substantial amount of Kurgit units, but in the end, I ran out of recruits to actually acquire. So I went to the nearby town and went to the tavern. I have just recruited some mercenary pistoleras. So as you can see, we have 61 of those. Hopefully they're going to help us out in this bout. And I am hopefully going to be victorious. So then we could potentially head on to the step bandit lair or maybe take on yet another one of them. So what I'm hoping to do at the moment, all I am trying to do at the moment technically, is to obviously defeat these guys, but also to gain as much renown as I potentially can. Because then We'll be able to join the Gurgit Khanate officially as a vassal, and I will be granted a fief and all of the luxury that goes along with that, and hopefully then we would be able to make some good progress, potentially help the Gurgits in their sieges, maybe in their battles as well, but other than that it would be nice to have a fief to protect, potentially, and then I might be able to do a few... well... A few quests for Sanyar Khan himself, and I would be able then to potentially... Whoa, I actually took someone down with that shot. That was amazing, okay. But yes, anyway, I would like to be able to, I suppose, get a really high relation with him, and then he will be rather pliable, shall we say? <laughs> he will be more likely to give us fiefs and so forth. So, yes, I would hope that that would actually happen, but of course... It might help if I'm actually any good at shooting my bow. So let's try to take that guy down off his horse. Maybe take him out. That would be nice. There we go. Thank you very much. Maybe that guy as well. Oh, there is actually a fellow shooting me. How dare you. Oh, and I took him down, I think. Yes, I did. Very nice. Okay, so as you can see, we are actually running them down rather considerably. Of course, their initial charge actually had some very damaging attacks on us right there, so I was a little worried in that initial attack, but from now, we seem to actually be perfectly fine. I suppose these mercenary pistoleras are actually helping us very, very much so at the moment, but I wouldn't count out our Kurgit units either. They seem to be doing an excellent job in themselves, so yeah, I don't really think we had to recruit them, but I felt that it would be better if we had a more secure chance in actually defeating them. Because if I was defeated, yeah, then it would be a little tricky, I must admit, to actually get going once again, because I did, as I say, get taken prisoner. All of my units were taken, including all of my companions as well, so I had to get those back with the use of a traveler. I had to locate them, and luckily, they were actually in Kurgit towns, so I could get them all back. Of course, Rolf isn't actually with us here. I will be attempting to get him back at a later point, because, believe it or not, he is actually 
in a town that is being besieged as we speak. So, yes, a little bit unfortunate that that was the case, I must admit. But, yeah, I suppose we do get to fight these guys and hopefully take as many of them down as possible. Nice headshot right there, not bad. And maybe we can take out this guy as well. Yes, there we are. And there we go. Very nice. That was the last enemy. And, oh my goodness, my horse is an absolute beast, as you can see. It has taken no damage whatsoever. Okay, 29 renown, 9 morale. That's going to help us out. And, of course, they still have 22 remaining. Now, as you saw there, we only have 130 left for battle. So I am assuming that we've just lost, well, let's say... Around 80 units, that is, wow, quite severe. I was not expecting us to lose that many. Okay, I thought maybe we'll lose 50, and I could live with that, but apparently they are a lot more deadly than I realized, these bandits. How dare you? Okay, well, oh, I'm actually dealing damage to horses and not people, which is rather unfortunate. But hopefully my units will see to it that we actually do some damage here. They are elites, the enemy units right here, so not too pleased about that. Oh, there we are. We actually took one down. Maybe I can get this shot. This would be amazing if I could hit that. Oh, I actually hit his horse, which is rather good, but yeah. No cigar. And they all seem to be over there, which is rather unfortunate. Let's see if we can get this guy. Come on. Marksman, oh yeah, headshot, nice. Okay, so there you go, that was, I suppose, a rather good shot right there, not bad. And maybe we could take out the other fellow. Okay, come on, a little bit higher, nope, he's moving, oh, we actually got him, okay, there we go. Not bad. And there we go, another one. Nice, okay, so there we go, that was the, I suppose, Rocketeers, the remainder of the Rocketeers that the enemy had in their forces. Luckily, we didn't lose too many to their bombardment. But yes, only five renown for that. Not too pleased with that. But we do get a few of these prisoners which we are able to take. Most of our people are actually knocked out at the moment so I don't suppose we really need to worry too much. As you can see, we almost have a full army, which is very nice to see indeed. We do get to take these and these and these. Wow, okay. This is going to sell for a tidy bundle, I would assume. So... Yeah, we can actually take all of this as well, which is great. Oh, those gloves are actually going to come in handy. Oh, yes, look at that. 20 to body armor. Amazing. And, yeah, that's not as good. Oh, these Nomad boots are, though. There we go. Not bad. The bow is almost as good. I could give this to the Shavi, actually. The bow is better for her. Okay, there we go. So, I'm going to head back into Ikemur if I can. And, yeah, as you can see, they are pursuing us to the ends of the earth. And hopefully they won't try to cut us off here. No, okay, good. So, there we are. We are going to get in, and hopefully the Ransom Broker is still here. Yes? No? Oh, no. Apparently not. Yes, just a drunk man and fellows around him. That is unfortunate. Obviously, the Ransom Broker has moved. That is so unfortunate now. Oh, no. Okay, well, at least we can actually sell here, and yeah, sell for not much return at all. These scale gauntlets are going to come in handy, though, which is going to be good. I did actually buy a book from a book merchant as well, so I suppose that is partly the reason why I am a little bankrupt at the moment. Not too pleased about that. Okay, I think that is fine. Actually, I'm going to keep these boots. I might be able to give them to one of our companions. But yes, anyway, I will be cutting away once again, and I will attempt to find a ransom broker, and then I will cut back once I have. Okay, so I have not yet found a ransom broker, unfortunately, but I am lucky enough to actually find a battle between 2,700, well, nearly 2,800 Kurgit forces, and, well, 500... Serenids, but there is an actual fight going on here which we could potentially join in on. So I am hopefully going to be able to help out and maybe get some increased relation with the vassals here. So now, as you can see, we are currently engaged with some Serenid vassals, so I'm a little bit skeptical about whether we are actually going to be, well, okay here. And by okay, I mean hopefully not get taken out immediately because they probably have an Aleph, 
Do we have an Aleph? Yes, we do, as you can see. There is one over there. And if they do, then we're probably going to get taken out quite quickly unless we can find some cover, which would be quite nice. But let's actually just see how many enemies they have. 167. We have 79 of our own units on the battlefield, which I am not very pleased about, I must admit. I was hoping that we could potentially bring 50, maybe 40 in. But yes, 80 is a little bit too much, in my opinion at least. But I can only hope, I suppose, that my forces do an excellent job at defending the land of the Kurgits, and then hopefully get a sizable amount of renown in return. And then maybe we can talk to Sanyar Khan and pledge our allegiance to him as a vassal, because we are currently having to deal with their enemies anyway, and we may as well get the rents that we are due from a stronghold. That would be great. Now, I cannot actually see the enemy forces. Oh, wow, they're all the way over there. Okay, let's try some headshots. Maybe. Okay, I'm doing damage to a horse. More horses. More horses. Oh, no. Now they're dodging. Of course. Okay, come on. Take out that dude over there on that camel. Uh, maybe not. Maybe a little bit higher than that. No. Oh, I really need some XP. It would be really nice if we could get some XP. Okay, never mind. Let's just charge our infantry and our cavalry, and let's get our archers over here. Maybe they can get some XP. <laughs> because, goodness knows, I'm probably not going to get any, so have to be a little cautious of that. Of course, we are fighting against Serenid Immortals, and I'm not very pleased about that at all. As you know, I'm not a big fan of those Immortals. However, I did just take out an Elite Camel Rider, by the looks of things. So that's actually not too bad. And another one. Take out these guys. Oh my, maybe not. Oh wow, they do actually have an Aleph. Okay, well, I'm just going to stand right next to him. Hello. Okay, so he can't actually fire at me now, I hope. Okay, he can. Okay, he can. He definitely can. Run away before my horse dies, please. Come on. Okay, well... <laughs> that is not good. That is not good. Okay, so I was a little bit too overconfident right there. As you could probably tell, we did have a few issues. And yeah, we did get taken out. That is, well, I suppose a change that we have not experienced yet in 1.6, so that is very good. Obviously, they have reduced the range at which the Alephs cannot fire. Obviously, they can fire at any range now, so I suppose that makes them incredibly deadly. And, yeah. Maybe I had to stand right underneath their legs? Not too sure on that. But, as far as I can tell, we have actually lost this engagement. We have a huge amount of Kurgits with us, but apparently they did not send in their best forces, as you can see. We did actually lose 37 of our own units. But yes, as you can see, we still have 735, but I'm actually going to have to leave, which is really unfortunate. I'm not high enough in level to actually sustain that. Well, huh. That's very unfortunate. But as a side effect, nearly all of our units have leveled up, so I'm very pleased with that. But unfortunately, I can't level all of them up, so... I suppose what I will be doing is ending this episode off here, and in my off-screen time, I will be finding a ransom broker. But as I end this episode off here, I'm going to just say, look at these Kurgits! Oh my goodness, they are completely destroying the Saranids. I wouldn't be surprised, actually, in the meantime, before the forces of darkness are released upon the world, that we actually, well, I say we, but the Kurgits will potentially take all of these castles right here. I wouldn't be surprised if they take Shawa, Bardak, and Durin, but the rest of them may be a little bit too much for the Kurgits to handle at the moment. But yes, these battles are going to continue onward, and as I say that, I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.